How did you do that? Whoa! Holy oh, cow! Oh boy! All you have to do is ask. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Hi, right, people. Your boy, Tommy Baker, asked me, can you do a letterbox effect? Y'all know I can get it done. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to do a letterbox with a video clip and with a JPEG photo. So this one is a JPEG photo of a Tumblr. You know, seen on a little movie with the guy, the baddie, the guy with bats and the belfry and all of that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this clip. And I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. So for a JPEG photo, you got three different ways you can get this done. Alright, first way. You go to 2D, 3D. And you go to Crop. Once you're in Crop, you want to go to the settings for Crop. And you basically just want to take away the left, all the way down to zero, and take the right, all the way down to zero. Now you got a nice little letterbox. Now remember, if you're going to be doing a letterbox, you got to make sure that whatever you have on the screen can be viewed. So you may have to change the top and the bottom, move them up or down to, you know, get your stuff in place or whatever. But that's the first way to do it. Well, let's go ahead and remove that. The next way to do it with a JPEG would be to go to 2D, 3D, and then go to 2D Editor Advanced. And then you just want to go down to Change Default to No Preset. And you want to go to Cropping. And now you can crop the top out by moving your slider over or typing in the parameter that you want. And then do the same thing with the bottom. Move your slider over as far as you want or type in the parameter that you want. Once again, nice letterbox. All your video or your picture in this case will be in the middle and you have the black bars on the top and the bottom. Thus for the name Letterbox. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a list and show you the last way that you could do this with a picture. So the last way is if you go to Corrections. You then click on crop. Now when you click on crop, you got an aspect ratio setting down here. If you click it, you get none. You get a 4 by 3 and 16 by 9. Leave it on none. If you change it to like 4 by 3, what will happen is if you move it, it will try to have everything move. The sides, the top, the bottom, all of that stuff. We don't want that. If you do 16 by 9, it'll do the same dang thing. Anytime you move anything, it'll keep the aspect ratio 16 by 9, or it'll keep the aspect ratio at 4 by 3. So we want to keep it on none. All right, so now you can see that it's on none. I can move each piece independently, each side, top and bottom independently. So now what I can do, since I have the aspect ratio set to none, is I can go ahead and... Just move the bottom up as much as I want and move the top down as much as I want. And now I'm good. If I click OK, boom, letterbox. So now we got a letterbox on a JPEG. But you ask, how can we do this with a video? The same freaking way, people. It's just basically the same. The only thing that's different is that you cannot use the corrections function. So if I go to this video, I have a video of a background and just some circuits and high-tech joints going on here you know get you a little wobbly in the head if i right click on this go to open effects editor i can go to 2d 3d 
You go to crop like I did the first time around. Go to my settings. Take out the left and take out the right. Boom. I'm good to go. Same thing. I can go ahead and go to 2D, 3D. And I can do 2D editor advanced. Change it from default to no preset. Go to cropping. And then do the top. And then do the bottom. Now, you can see that if you hit corrections on here, there is no option to crop. All right. So that's why you can't use the corrections function with the video clip because there will be no option to crop. But you just have the other two options. Click OK. Boom. Letterbox me. All right, people. That was pretty simple. Your boy Tommy Baker made the request. I got it done. You know how we get down. All right, people. Now, you guys know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love, people. Comments. You know I love comments, all right? Leave me a comment. I will get back to you, all right? If you have a question, need some help, I'll try to help you out as well. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction and get you the help you deserve. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.